Nellie is back on the rope. Before the day gets started, I want to show you what I got in the mail. Um, they are from Florette Flower Farm. And it's, I believe, in Washington State is where it's from. But as you can see, I got the Zinnias, the Dawn Creek Peach, the Spun Sugar Celosia, the Glowing Embers Celosia, the Unicorn Mix of the Zinnias, and the Bee's Choice in the Dahlia. I am so excited. And, of course, um, the Guide to Grow in Florette Originals comes with your seed orders. It comes with every seed order. But I just wanted to show you guys that because I'm so excited about getting in the greenhouse and getting these flowers started. There's approximately 100 seeds in each package. So that being 500 seeds right there at least. So can you imagine what the flower part of the potager garden is going to be like? We may even get a new variety of the dahlias. And if we do get something totally odd uh, or beautiful that I like, you know, on dahlias, you can save the tuber and get an exact clone of that. And if you don't know how that works, if you'll watch uh, Florette, uh, Growing Florette, I believe is the name of it, on the Magnolia channel, you'd be able to see everything about what she's about. And I just think that Erin is just the best. I just can't say anything else. I can turn her voice on and literally just peacefully fall asleep. She's got the best voice. Um, she's very energetic in some of her videos on YouTube, um, which just, it does my soul good. So there we are my florette seeds speaking of the greenhouse let's go have a look look at peggy peggy is starting to really come unwound i wanted to show you guys the shelving unit that i got on clearance at walmart because i do have a lot of seedlings in here so I got this shelving unit that has the slotted shelves and I was able to get it for a, a clearance price. So I brought it home and put it together and then thought, well, the bottom two shelves do not get the natural light from the polycarbonate windows. I got a couple of very cheap, I'm just gonna go ahead and say cheap and say the word inexpensive, LED lights and hung them in here and the other one is let me try to turn it a little bit yeah it's up under there too I still have another shelf that I can fill up and some extra space on this shelf but I just kind of wanted to show you that I, I put the LED lights on there to allow for some light for the plants down here and I believe that they're getting very very happy I have so many different varieties of plants, but look, who has the Iberia cayenne pepper from Haas Tools? And they came up within four days and they're that tall in a week. I mean, look, look at the calendula. Everything I got from Haas Tools, I got a 100% germination rate. And I know you're thinking, wow, that's some big zucchini and squash right there. Well, yes, it is. And why do I have so many? I have an 87-year-old 80, friend that I'm also growing some plants for for his garden. So, yes, I do have more than a fair share of squash and zucchini and tomatoes. As you can see, I've got stuff up here that I've up-potted um, just because it wasn't doing well in the trays the starter trays because they were kind of on the ends and then i've got some more herbs over there that are coming up and of course here this is pink eye purple whole peas 
more squash and zucchini, um, and cucumbers on the end over there. More tomatoes from Hoss. And here, of course, is um, some collards, roselle hibiscus, some cantaloupe, and some more calendula that just came up after I got those out of there. And on the other side, I've got more room to put more shelves here. And I, of course, have some cucumbers and some more squash and zucchinis here. So that's what I've got right now, but I'm excited about getting started on the floret seeds. And so I will be starting those in the next day. Um, today though, I've been quite busy. Um, I had some things that I had to go and do and I've got the people coming to trim goat hooves. To leave you with some good thoughts, look at that. Let's go to the lazy garden and see what's going on here. Look at that. Isn't nature just wonderful? I wanna show you this. Hopefully I can catch it in action. <laughs> look at the bees. And look. The collards were all destroyed by the big freeze that happened. I don't know why the turnip greens um, did not get destroyed, but the collards did. But the collards are coming back from the roots. And it will not be long until I have some collard greens. I am so excited about that. Now, the wind is kind of rough out here. These are my blueberries. Look at those beautiful blooms. And I'm so hoping we don't have a late frost. Because look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. This is my nectarine tree. It is budding out and blooming. And of course the bees are working it also. They're, they're like bumblebees or something here. And this is a, a summer prince peach. These came from petals from the past. And of course this is the white peach. Now, y'all just pray that we do not have a late freeze. And down here, we have carrots. Beautiful. Got to get out here and pick some of these, these turnip greens. Here they come. Roger's hoof trimming. Oh my gosh, now that is awesome. So he is all standing up on the milking stand. Hey Alfie, you ready to get those hooves done? Get ready for your pedicure. Alfie's first. Everybody's getting a pedicure today. Now, Alfie, when we first got Alfie, you could not put your hands on him. <laughs> Nellie is back on the rope. Get out of there. 
Ruby helps Nellie eat her food. Okay, I'm here with Dylan and Nicole Rogers with Rogers Hoof Trimming, and they just got finished with all seven of my, my babies. I'm not going to say girls because some of them are boys, but they just got done with all of mine, and I appreciate you guys so much, and um, I'm so looking forward to you guys coming back and trimming them again. <laughs> You're welcome. This we is, appreciate you. We appreciate it. This has been my first experience with you guys, and I'm telling you, I'm really impressed. And just a side note, um, Dylan actually got his hands on and was able to lead Nellie around. So he worked with Nellie for just a few minutes and gained her trust. So that was super exciting, and he's kind of showed me some tricks and tips and helped me out a little bit. Yes, so indeed. thank you all again, okay? You're welcome. All right, it's the next day. Let's go and see if we can do anything with Nellie today because I really want to brush her again. I brushed her yesterday, but I really want to brush her again today because um, she is just raggedy. We'll put that right there. Well, Nellie, I'm not scared of you, okay? You act all big and bad, but I saw yesterday that you can be tamed. I just need to work with you a little bit more every day. So how about we go to twice a day? Do hmm? you think that would work for you, Nellie? Look at all that old nasty hair coming off now. Let's do the other side, okay? I gotta get my... Gonna look so good when it's all over with. Mama loves you. Mama loves you. And you know what? You, my girl, don't ever have to worry about that name again, okay? Because I know deep down inside you are a lovely girl, okay? okay. Whoa, Nellie. Don't back yourself in a corner. You're not going to like it. Oh, let me set that up so it don't get... Now, I'm going to comb you, okay? Try to pull some of that hair off. Then we'll brush again. Then you can finish your breakfast. Because you like food. Nope. Yep. So yesterday, Dylan, that was here, he gave me some hints. Because he said he's dealt with little ladies like you before. And I saw firsthand what a little bit of patience yet firmness because he was pretty firm with you. So from now on, I'm going to be firm with you too, okay? Yet very patient because I know that something has happened to you in the past. I don't know when and I don't know what and I don't know how. But something happened that got you in the shape. Uh, you got a little bit of mud right there. Let's get that off. I think you might be enjoying that a little much. I wish you would step out, move back over here a little bit. Come on, let's move this way. There we go because I don't want you to crush me.
Feels good, don't it? I've been wanting to do this for a long time, Nellie. Good girl. I'll do this side a little bit more with the, brush, the comb turned the other way because it seems to work better. Yeah, look at all that hair coming off of you. I see you're ticklish. <laughs> I see you're ticklish. Oh, girl. Let me get down here and get you under your neck. Now, if you keep going to the point where I can work with you just a little bit, you get a new halter. One that says Nelly, not one that you had originally. A new one that's all yours. Now don't get over there and knock the camera. So apparently Nelly turned the camera off when she went over there. You're spilling your grain. So Nellie is being a good girl, and we have decided, no, whoa Nellie, whoa Nellie. We have decided that we are going to um, work with her and brush her every day as a way of working with her. So um, the guy that was here yesterday, Dylan, he was very firm with her, and it worked. And Nellie knows now that we're not going to hurt her. And will we be able to walk up to her in the pasture and catch her? Probably not for a while. But I plan to brush her every day because Lord knows she needs it. But um, Nellie is being very good with me today. I've decided instead of letting Nellie have her way every time, I get my way occasionally. So we're going to get brushed and combed every day until I can gain Nellie's trust. And honestly, I think we're well on the way because with what um, the simple tricks and tips that Dylan showed me yesterday when Roger's hoof trimming was here and stuff that I've been doing every day, I really think that, I think Nellie likes me and I think that we have got a shot at um, taming Nellie. Anybody agree with me? So long story short, I have been probably too patient with Nellie. I should have been firmer with her. And um, I saw that yesterday. Um, instead of letting Nellie have her way every time and let things go Nellie's way, occasionally things have to go Catherine's way. So um, Nellie, of course, if you can see, has had a beautiful brushing and combing with both to get some of the dead hair off and Nellie looks so much better. I just really, I really don't know what has happened to Nellie in her life and I don't want to know. All I know is Nellie is here in this moment in time and I love Nellie and I think Nellie has a lot of potential. She is almost to the point where um, I can put hands on her at any time, but she's almost to the point that I can get someone over to look at her feet. And as long as she's in the stall here, Nellie's good. Now, she won't let me approach her out in the pasture because Nellie loves to run. And running is one of her things she does every day. But Nellie is, Nellie's coming a long way and I'm not unhappy about it. I, I think she looks wonderful, she's healthy, and she is loving life here at G&G &G Farms. So with that being said, y'all farm on.